Hail Mary. One. Welcome to Early Morning Catechism. We continue our lessons on the Holy Rosary. And today we are going to consider uh, the sorrowful mysteries of the Rosary. As we pray the Rosary using the sorrowful mysteries, we focus on the passion and the sufferings and death of Jesus. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. And Jesus is in the garden of Gethsemane, which is next to the Kidron Valley. In the Garden of Gethsemane, you can look down into the Kidron Valley, and then up and beyond that is the whole city of Jerusalem. And that city would have been lit up that night because it was the beginning of Passover. There would have been a lot of fires burning. People were coming from all over, and it was a time of gathering and celebrating. And here is Jesus in the garden overlooking the scene and realizing that his own people would be rejecting him, praying that his Father would remove the suffering, and yet praying that the Father's will be done. A time of great agony in the midst of people celebrating right across the valley. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. This was something that was done to criminals before they were crucified. It was so horrific that many criminals actually died right then and there. Jesus would have been handcuffed and tied to a post, and it wasn't just that one man came with a whip and hit him. They had several people, and each whip had several lashes coming out from it, and at the end of each one was a piece of metal or animal's teeth or bones. They were very sharp. And so as Jesus was struck with those, his skin was gashed open. And by the time this was done, he would have been bleeding profusely. It would be like they had just taken the skin right off his back. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. And you can see from this crown how painful it would be to have that crown put on your head and dug into your skin. Jesus was not only crowned with thorns and experienced physical pain, but during his crowning, he was also mocked and ridiculed. And the soldiers bowed before him and said, All hail, King of the Jews. But the really sad thing was, Excuse me. When he was brought out by Pilate to the crowd, and Pontius Pilate said, Behold your king, the people shouted, We have no king but Caesar. In other words, they were giving their allegiance to the head of the Roman Empire. And in so doing, they were denying that God is their king. So basically, they were giving up their religion and giving all their allegiance to the Roman Empire. How very sad indeed. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Jesus was given the cross to carry through the streets of Jerusalem. Now, I have walked the Via Dolorosa. I have walked the way of the cross, and I have to say from my memory, it isn't that long of a walk. And the streets are very narrow. So you can imagine, as Jesus is walking down the street, carrying the cross, he is right next to, elbow to elbow practically, with the people who are lining the street and ridiculing him and mocking him, and so on. And we know that he fell with this cross three different times. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. Jesus is nailed to a cross, and he hangs there for three hours, 
and then he dies. And there's so much for meditation here. We can think of how he was suffering really from asphyxiation. He was so stretched out on the cross that it was very difficult to breathe. That is why the soldiers were merciful when they put a block of wood under his feet so that he could boost himself and the up and down and the diaphragm inside his chest would go up and down and he could get some air. When he came close to death, at that time the vultures would have been swooping around his head. So there is so much, so much to meditate on as we look at Jesus dying on the cross. And of course, after he died, his heart is pierced with a lance, and in that moment comes forth blood and water, the symbols, the symbols of the sacramental life of the church, baptism and Eucharist. 